Hello guys, what's going on? It's your boy Victor Isibo. This is a video tutorial on how to link your Tafabot to your Binance API. Okay, API linking between Binance and Tafabot. Okay, this is like um, a tutorial uh, showing you exactly what you need to do. Okay, I have my API linked already, but I'm just trying to show you something like a copycat step-by-step -step procedure so that you can get it done first thing you want to do is tap on more this is the binance home page tap on more the circled section and when it opens up do well to scroll to the bottom the very last okay you will find api management you won't do well to tap on that. Then what you want to do is tap on create API. It's going to give you two options. You have the system generated and you have the self generated. So we're sticking with the system generated. Thankfully, it is what is already being highlighted for us here so the next thing you want to do is tap on the next button here is where you need to name your API so since it's for a tougher bot I have one account already uh, you just call it let me just call it uh, Vic tough you can call it whatever you like. You can call it Tafabot or whatever. I click on next. So it's going to bring a security verification. Drag. Drop. Okay. So it's going to, you know, send some codes to your number and your email okay you want to do well to have both intact with you so you just tap on get code then get code okay uh, this is a test account so the mobile verification came through uh, you want to do well to check your email as well and see what's going on if you have the email Okay, both came through for me. Submit. Now, here is it. It has created, now you see Victaf has been created. Here is what you want to do real quick. You see this drop down button? Very important. Pay close attention to this. This button, drop down button interact with it very quickly then scroll all the way down it has dropped down okay you see this secret key you're going to copy it hmm? paste it somewhere safe could be on your notepad or your whatsapp or anything just copy it paste it somewhere safe label it as your secret key Tap on this API key as well, paste it somewhere nicely, label it API key, okay? Because if you leave this page now, by the time you come back, you will start seeing this secret key, as star, 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 stars. You will no longer have access to it, okay? Now, the reason you're copying and pasting them somewhere safe is that when you go on your Tafabot, where you want to bind your spot wallet to Tafabot, you would need to place your API key, paste it there, and also paste your secret key, then connect. You would do the same thing for futures as well. So that's why you need to keep them safe somewhere. You can easily go and fetch them. Okay? So when you have copied, let's assume you've copied both and you have pasted them somewhere. Okay? Let me just copy this test secret key just for reference. After you have copied these two and put them somewhere safe, 
the next button you want to press here is edit look at it top edit okay now I've clicked on edit now scroll down here is where you give the permissions that are required okay now these are the buttons you need to check you will need to check here enable sports and margin trading then you need to check here enable futures I'm not checking them because I have my API linked already I'm just telling you what to do check both buttons now before you check the futures make sure that you already have some cash some font in your futures msd wallet okay uh usd wallet okay then when you tap on those two now when it comes to ip access restrictions you're not dealing with this you have to check this one okay so let's check it real quick check now okay so as we stand now we're checking what enable spot and margin trading enable futures okay then we're checking this one now it's asking us for a certain ip uh, whitelist so this is what we need to fetch now we need to put we're saying that it should allow access to only a trusted ip now what is the trusted ip you know it's a series of numbers okay that you need to fetch and when you fetch them you would be able to come and paste them here those numbers are on your Tafabot. Okay, so I'll take you to Tafabot now and I'll show you where you'll find those numbers that you would copy and come and paste here. Okay, so we're going to leave this page now and go to Tafabot. So when you get to your Tafabot, API Exchange is what you're going to click on from your own page. API Exchange. When you tap it open, you see, for instance, uh, this is my spot wallet is already connected. Uh, this is my futures wallet. It is also very connected. Okay. But let's assume uh, it is not connected. So what I'm going to tap on is Binance. I'm going to tap here, Binance. Okay. Tap on Binance. You see, here is my whitelist number. That number that they are asking me for. On Binance here is where it is okay so what I'm going to do is just tap on copy you see copy now I'll copy it so when I copy it what I would simply do is now go back to Binance okay and just paste the number here okay paste, paste the number here okay so when i paste finish pasting it the next thing i want to do is click on confirm and as soon as i click on confirm i want to scroll back up here then click on save okay so that particular number that we got from our spot uh section on tafabot is the same number that will exist on the future section okay so when we click on this save you go through all the security checks for Binance and boom, you are done with Binance. Okay, you are done with Binance. Now, the rest of the work remains on Tafabot. So, we'll go to Tafabot right now. So, now that you're back on your Tafabot, remember where you would go is the API exchange. Okay, so tap on the API exchange. Uh, mine is connected like my spot and my futures is connected okay but we're assuming is not connected so you would click for your spot which is highlighted click on Binance okay when you click on it you will see uh, this spot hmm, is for API Binance key this spot is for Binance API secret key so you will simply go and copy the API secret key wherever you pasted it earlier. You come and paste it here. Then copy the API secret key. Come and paste it here. Then the next thing you would do is click on connect here. Mine is showing disconnect because I'm already connected. Tap on the red connect button. Boom, you are done for the spot.
okay you are done for the spot then tap on the top left corner arrow back now toggle to futures now that you have connected api for spot connect for futures by tapping on futures boom then you will also click on binance the same keys that you used to connect the spot copy it for api key paste it here boom inside this box copy that of this api secret key paste it here boom click on the red connect button mine is showing disconnect because i'm already connected simple as abc boom you are done and you are ready to start trading thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one bye